Sagebrush. What is it? What is it? It is a new game we are playing. Music just cut off. Oh. I met Anne first, waiting for the bus. Normally, I avoid talking to just about anybody, but she struck up the conversation. She was so pleasant, so confident. She smiled at me as if she had known me as a kid, and we were just catching up after all these years. She told me she could tell I had a hole in my life. She knew what that was like, she said. She had also had a hole, but it was gone now. I asked her what she was selling, and she laughed and said nothing, nothing at all. That what she had to offer was free for anyone who wanted it bad enough. I asked her what had helped her. She just said, James. No, I definitely didn't expect 3D. Ret 3D can be retro now, right? It's weird hearing hyper-realistic car door shutting sounds. And then looking at this, Black Sage Ranch, 250 miles northwest of Albuquerque. Site of the 1993 Perfect Heaven Mass Suicide. What the hell? Oh, very sensitive. Oh, can I invert, please? The inventory is empty. Invert the Y. No, what happened? How, how do you do that? There you go. Okay. Oh, we could turn down the sensitivity. For sure. That's a little better. Hmm. Nice colors, eh? Kind of like gold and yellow. Weird. interact with the highlight eye object press this not gonna lie you're surprised that I actually made it all the way here you brought some gear in the trunk okay trunk trunk open the trunk this might be a little nicer on, with a with a mouse but okay I hate that forced tutorial stuff where they don't let you move until you've pressed the button to go into the inventory. So I find it really frustrating and kind of like immersion breaking. The gate won't budge. You didn't bring anything to bust through. How about this? Use. Use. I'm pressing fucking use. All righty. Okay. Oh, so they gate you off from here. Okay. Did I use? What are we going to use them over here? Maybe where the light is shining. Down here a bit. Oh, look. It's already... The wire cutters clip through the rusting fence easily and create a small hole. Okay. I move really slowly. Oh, you can run. Creepy. 
Moldy dishes litter the table, stained and dusty. There's no food. Wild animals are delicious scraps. Ooh, the door slimes behind you. Yeah, it's like a point and click 3D adventure game. About a place where people had a big mass murder. It's too dark to read anything. Are there lights? Some kind of a stage. A nice instrument once, now the strings are rusted and the lacquer faded. Sheep music, too dark to read. Well, got this light box up here. Generator key, woohoo! Performance schedule, Yosiah plays the hymns, a gospel reading, violin recital, a gospel reading, children's reenactment of the book of Serial. The power has been pretty finicky, you might have to restart the generator to get the lights back on. The key's in the box, the generator's around the side. You got it. Generators are on the side, eh? It's too dark to make out much detail. Okay, so do the generator thing. Everything is too dark around the side. Like outside? Ooh. Things tumbled and fumbled over. I mean, it's about a place where there's a mass suicide. I like the way it's kind of drawn. It's almost like... Flies? Flies buzzing? Oh, it's a terrifying sound. That door, the door shutting behind you is pretty scary. Maybe the generator is outside, around the side. Outside, around the side. Hmm. Oh, broken window. There you go. Oh, music's playing now. Light switch. There you go. Oh, that friggin' door, man. There we go. I got a light switch in here, yeah. Leonard. Leonard hasn't heeded warnings, but taking more than a share of food. He keeps swiping snacks in the storage room. Until we can straighten him out, I decided to move his favorite foods into the farm shed and hide the key on the side of the bookshelf next to the ping pong table. Bookshelf, ping pong table, farm shed. Jesus. Spinach casserole, barbecue, fasting, pork chops, beef stew, chicken, fasting. Holy shit. Due to power outage, food stores have spoiled. We will have to replace the planned meals with canned food sauce and pretty produce until the new supplies can come back. We have a fridge. Oh boy. Rotting meat. Alright. It's a good way to guide you, you know, like, start turning the power, you hear the music playing, go to the room with the music. We know the conspiracy can trace itself back as far as the 4th century, when Athanasius and his cronies first began to exclude essential works from the Bible. Just cult fasting. Yeah, well, there was some kind of um. Open the map. Yeah, I get it. Press Y. Hmm. Community hall, farm, the cleansing room. Where are we are now in the community hall. I want to go see the cleansing room. Yeah, they were some kind of call where they convinced everybody to kill themselves. Mass suicide. It's gonna be it's gonna be so great when we're all dead. 
the Bible quote. God loves a good poop. Jesus said to him, he said that it washed needeth not save his washes feet, but clean every whit, and ye are clean, but not all. All right, I want to go check out a cleansing room. Is the farm over here? Door, the door sound effect was more of like you're you're inside that kind of a door sound effect. Uh, you're not gonna get out that way, but it sounded like it shut right behind me. Oh well. It's just a wee indie game. We can't be too harsh on it. Open the gate. Gate. All right. Probably have, should be going. This direction. Lillian, Viola, Andrew, Peyton, trailer. These graphics are really strange, eh? It's kind of hard to make out a lot of detail. Brother Earl. Ominous sun. The Jonestown massacre? No, I, I think I think it's based on like a real the real story of uh, sort of like a big you know, one of these kind of things that happened. Mass suicide. I don't know if it if it was the Jonestown Massacre or whichever one it said. I like the music. Place for a bathroom. <coughs> ah. Farm shed. <clears throat> All right, we should go to the farm shed. Here's the farm. We'll go to the farm shed. Yeah, it does have that early 2000 feel of, um... I mean, these kind of graphics had a lot, a lot of personality because they were all basically handmade, right? Even the, the polygons of them. Thank you, Prince. Hmm, schoolhouse. You can make up faded writing for the last lesson. The first revelation. The day Father James received the truth. Alright, turn on the light. Burp, 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 burp. Grab that light. Grab that light. Come on. Jerk face. Holy crap. There's no reticule. Oh, recording. I often helped Viola in the schoolhouse. I enjoyed working with the children. We taught them reading, writing, scripture. Viola was one of the most faithful among us. If Anne was like the mother of the flock, Viola was the older sister. I remember one lecture she gave the children on the nature of hell that was so vivid, so unflinching, it had the kids in tears. I told her she was scaring them, and she said, good, they should be scared. Okay. April 7th, celebration of the crucifixion. Feast of the first revelation. Celebration of the birth of our prophet. Some of the pages have been torn out. Yeah, that's right. It's the kind of detailed, kind of not detailed. It's uh, kind of like Metal Gear Solid 1 in that way, with the faces. You see, what they're, you see what they're going for, and it lets it have a mysterious quality to it. 
Why are you so stubborn, Julian? Why do you reject the flock's love? You don't pay attention in class. You don't try hard in your assignments. You lie between your readings. I'm worried about you. I've asked Father James to take some time to speak with you one-on-one. -on -one. Please listen to him. He knows so much. He can help soothe your doubts. I promise. Give it a try. Be one of us. Wouldn't it be horrible to be born into something like this and have no way out? Where's this cleansing room? Let's go to that. Okay, we're in the farmhouse, so... No, that was the school. Okay, so we need to go way over to the right. We need to open up the farm shed. What's that house near the school? Uh, I don't know. There's not like a, you are here on the map. Yeah, the graphics give it a very creepy quality. Works with the feel of the game. And it, and it kind of being like you exploring this old... This old world, you know? Okay, well, we need a key to get under there. Use the padlock. Hmm. Okay. So we're near a house by the school, and then there's something else on the hill. Is that the rectory, and this is the chapel? That makes sense. Okay, I really want to check out the cleansing room. And we have a key to the farm shed, so obviously we got to go there. A defector. Hmm, what the hell's that? Some kind of a well. Fire pit. The fire pit. <laughs> Guess I know where I am. Baseball. Go into the chapel and uh, Nicolo, 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 Nicolo. Hello, 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 ciao. You doubt the cleansing room will have any cleansing supplies? I'm thinking it's going to have like a bunch of murdered people or be like a place where people are tortured. Oh. Oh, God, look at that. Bloodstain. Hmm. Is that where they all are? No. I don't... How long ago did all, did all these murders take place? Okay, we need to go to the farm shed. That's the chapel. And those are what? The mines? Okay. Then the farm shed should be down here. No, it's the opposite. Cleansing. This looks like a gas station. Maybe a stable? Uh, old boxes. What's in the farm shed? Key place tape deck. Uh, turn it on then. Turn down the lights. Why don't you? Hmm. Can I grab onto that? How does that getting power? Cereal? Are you cerealless? Batteries. Can anyone truly know the joy of the absolute truth? The freedom that comes with releasing all of one's doubts like so much ballast into the sea? I know that feeling now. For so long I searched. I searched among the Catholics, idol worshippers and perverts. I searched among the Baptists, hypocrites. I searched among the Pentecostals, infested by charlatans. I tried so many churches and all of them all, all of them to a one were filled with fools and liars. Now I know why Father has helped me to see. The first time I met Father James, I was immediately filled with a sense of peace. It's hard to explain. I guess he just seemed so sure. He asked if I was a believer. I said I'd been raised Catholic, but it never clicked. There's a reason for that, he said. They've been lying to you, all of them. And I knew he was right. I got a flashlight. All right, I guess we got a key. Andrew's trailer. Oh, cool. 
you see what you're looking at. That's cool. All right, Andrew's trailer is way on the other end. Okay. Go to the trailer. What are we going to find? I wonder if it's going to be scary stuff or, like, thoughtful stuff or... You know, what's the point? That I don't know. Let's find Andrew's trailer. Well, Brother Earl. Aaron. Coyotes are yipping. Lillian. Okay, that's Lillian. Where's Andrew? On the other side. Okay. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them here. I want pizza. But up, but up. P I Z Z A. Now give me pizza. Sister Alana. Door is rusted shut. Alana. Hope. Violet Juliet Lucas. Mary and John. Janine. Diane. Diane, Janine. Hmm. Maybe I'm looking up the barking up the wrong hill here. Elroy. Prosciutto, mushrooms, mozzarella, baked potatoes. Nice, man. Wow. Vance. Where is Andrew's trailer? Leonard. Okay, Leonard's there, so... Turn around from Leonard and go straight down, and then it'll be on your right. Gotcha. So maybe here? Andrew? Aaron. Look for Andrew or Peyton. Oh, it looks like it's kind of in the middle. Like here? Alana. So he's on the corner of the path. So they should be one of these ones. I want pizza. Lillian. Okay, there's Lillian. So Lillian's... He's kitty corner to Lillian's. Jesus. So it should be... It's like fucking this one, man. But it says Alana. Or he's like right up from her. It should be this one that's knocked over. Hmm. Maybe it's this one. Yes! Nice! Oh my god, we did it. Oh. Your reward is audio. Key to Fayola's trailer. Read the letter. Uh, I wish there was a cursor on the screen. Ooh. I greatly enjoyed our talk earlier. I'd like to continue it. The children will be helping sow the fields tomorrow afternoon, so I'll be alone if you'd like to stop by. I love you. You're my brother, but you do not know what you're talking about. This is my family now. They love me, and I love them in a way that transcends even blood. 
Maybe that hurts you to hear. I'm sorry, but there's no hiding from the truth. I know you have your doubts about your church. You've told them to... to you've told them to me. Let me tell you, I have no doubts here. None. Of course, if you stop denying what you know in your heart, we would welcome you with open arms. You need to come to us. We men must all be fools to buy the malarkey spat at us by mainstream churches. The Catholic Church says we're awaiting Christ's return when they full well know better, and the rest of Christendom believes them, the merry worshippers. Perhaps we'll never know why Lord waited until Father James to correct the record. Perhaps our Father in Heaven waited for the earthly man he knew could bear the burden with grace. Blessed be our Lord who saw fit to include wretches like me in his plan. I await the third coming with open arms and a heart full of love. Life with the flock was good. We would meet for morning prayer with Father James in the chapel, then meet for breakfast, and then we'd set off to work for the day. Some of us worked the fields, others worked on expanding the compound. We had a school teacher, we had cooks. In the evening we would study scripture or listen to one of Father's lectures. Then it would be time for penance, more prayer, and then sleep. I slept better those early nights than I had in years. I was home. Do you know how good it feels to find home after so long? I would have done anything for Father. He saved me. Oh, baby! Okay, scriptures. We got a key to go to Viola's place. No, yeah, it's not some chanting. Sorry. It's, um... It's just podcast Stella's listening to upstairs. And it's just coming through. I think she's right above me and has it on the floor. I asked her to move it. And if she doesn't, she will die. Viola! Where are we here? Andrews. So go across. Holy shit. That's pretty serious, Peyton. So that's Peyton. Where's Viola? We were in Andrew. Viola was right across the way. I don't trust this bloody map. Yeah, it kind of added a bit to the atmosphere, eh? A little bit. Oh, shit. Now I forget where Andrew's trailer was. This one? That's Andrew. Okay. I'm at Andrew's trailer. So Viola is away from the community hall on the other side. So where's the community hall? That's Andrew. That's the church. Andrew to the church. Chapel. Okay. So, Andrew, Chapel, Viola should be to my left. Die in the name of thy father. Viola. Here it is. This is my money. No, nope. Lillian. Lillian is near Viola. This is good. Girls on the right. Julia and Ellie. 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 Kirk can't sign it. Ellie. There we go. Viola. Three of them living here? Where are they all sleeping? Viola's diary. I had forgotten what love felt like. I thought that all the years suffering under Eric's thumb had ruined me. I thought there was no hope for happiness ever again, but I was so wrong. I feel so safe here. Father James has restored my faith in Christ, but also in men and in myself. Wonderful blessing. Yeah, there's pain, but it's necessary. And I enter into it willingly and joyfully. I'm so blessed to be part of this flock and to help ensure that my dear children taste the fruit of eternal life. Lucas is taken to life here easily, but Juliet, well, we'll need to be patient with Juliet. She needs time. She'll come around and see. Father James says Eric will burn in hell for his sins against me. I know I shouldn't take joy in that, but the thought of it makes me smile. Father says that even Eric could join the flock if he wanted it badly enough. But I know my husband well enough to know that he would laugh in the face of the truth. He is rotten with sin and he will get what he deserves. Oh Lord Jesus, please give me guidance. I was only doing what he asked of me, Lord. I was doing it for him and for you. But I'm two weeks late now and throwing up every morning, Lord. Oh, Lord, I don't know who the father is. It could be James, or it could be... Do I tell him? Will he be happy with me, or furious? Have I sinned? What cleansing will I need to endure to rid my soul of this black mark? Okay. 
We were chosen, all of us, by the Lord. Do you know how good that feels? To be chosen? I hope you do. It's a feeling we all need in our lives. And on top of that, Father James took a special interest in me. He said he felt spiritually invigorated by my presence and often called me to the rectory to spend time with him. Not dumb, I knew, but I didn't care. I was so honored to be his chosen. She has a very modern way of talking. You know when you watch, like, people talk in the 70s, or like kind of the 70s, 80s, and early 90s. They had a very clear way of talking. They would talk very clear. It was a mix of kind of modern, but they would they would very explain themselves and use more proper language. You hear? Now people... Berg Spitzel! I look grumpy. Well, I guess it's because I'm playing such a cheery, wonderful game. Generator. <laughs> what was my last hint? Go to the rectory, I guess. Go into the rectory and... Can you get over this little fence? Nice. How you doing, Bergster? That's a chapel. That's a rectory. I need to find a combination. Oh, that's a school. The rectory is beyond the school. But you need a combo to get into that school. I don't know if you can get around it. The rectory is the final boss. Slay, like, yeah, yeah. It is kind of similar, right? Is that the rectory? Was, oh, okay. Well, if that's the school, then this is the rectory. So how do you get in? Hmm. The padlock. Six, six, six. One, two, three, four. I guess I should have been... There would have been more clues. There's a fire pit, yes. Oh. So if he invited her to spend time with him in the rectory, then you'd think that there would be she would know the the combo, right? To be the chosen one. Well now she's pregnant. With either the main guy or this guy across the way. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. What has she done? Hmm. Viola. I will see you tonight for alternative cleansing in the rectory. Come early, we have much to talk about. I know the day I received my first vision and you will know the code. Who's this note from? The, the day I received my first vision. Lesson plan. Okay, the first vision. The lies of the false churches. James visions and prophecies field work. James, okay. One, one, three. The angel appeared into the man under seven stars in the eastern sky. So would that, would that be the day? James is returned from an unrighteous war. I could see why that would cause somebody to... Tuesday. Wednesday. Forgive me if I'm speaking too freely, but I care deeply about you and I worry you're having doubts about the Father and His teachings. You're too young, Lily. I understand where you're coming from. Believe me, but as someone with a lot more life experience, you have nothing to doubt. Father James is a prophet of the Lord. He speaks the true word. Read the diary. Read the diary. Read the diary. Read the diary. Jesus Christ. Diary. Come on. There we go. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe uh, in the school we'll find information on that. Some teachings. Know the date I received my first vision. And you will know the combination to the lock on the padlock to the cleansing room where I invite the many women to impregnate them with the seed of the prophet. The birth of our prophet. Feast of the first revelation. So, July 18th through June 3rd. Maybe the first revelation would be his first vision, June 3rd. 0603, let's try that. June 3rd or July 18th. June 3rd or July 18th. Hmm. Okay. The first revelation, the day Father James received the truth. June 3rd. 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 You open the door the wrong way, sonny. Oh, I bet. I wonder what his place is going to be like. Probably pretty nice. It's going to be a big, like, sex dungeon, probably. He's just a sexy boy. June. Thoid. In we go to his zone. Oh, it's very nice, isn't it? The rectory. Oh, creepy. Ooh. What's this? Oh, God. The camera. Oh, my God. We have all been given our purposes by the Lord. And if we listen close enough to our hearts, if we pray hard enough, we can feel that purpose coursing through us. To excel in our God-given purpose is its own form of cleansing. Some of us are called to labor in the fields, to feed the flock. Some are called to train and to defend us. Others to teach our children the true way of things. The Lord calls upon many women to provide succor and relief. Sucker! <laughs> Now, those of you with husbands may be rightly confused. Is this not a sin? I ask you, do you not love the Lord more than your husband? Would you deny the Lord himself your love? I am his flag bearer. I am his flag bearer. This is my flagpole. Now, make the flag rise. A large flat pedestal, not unlike an altar, stands at the foot of the bed. And the Lord said to the sucker, Do your suckiness. That's weird. Mm, sin is our debt. Pain is the currency. Hmm. To know a deeply, truly cleansed body. Some become a private porn stars. Wow. It always comes down to sex and power and money, eh? Okay. We need to find a VCR. What do each of us have in common? A soul, the stain of sin, love of our Lord. Yeah, these things, but also we've endured great suffering. And that, friends, is why we are here. As Christ suffered, so we have and will continue to suffer. Join the flock. Suffering is a divine currency. We pay our debt in physical pain. I know some of you fear the cleansing room, but bodily pain is temporarily. Spiritual pain is eternal. What would you like? What's worse, eternal or temporary? Bliss is your choice. Bleed from temporary wounds of transient flesh or suffer eternally. What a jerk. You, you do it first. How about that? I am not the Christ. 
only Christ is the Christ. I'm a prophet of Christ as messenger of flesh, vehicle of the word. My teachers are directly transmitted. Did they say transmitted back then? Maybe. I also require a nice new stove range for the cooking of my beans. What's this room all about? And another night sleeping downstairs. I don't mean to complain. I can hear James and the others from in here. So happy, so fulfilled. They sound filled. It warms my heart, so I don't mean to complain. But it's cold, and something in the room is driving my allergies crazy. Who's Anne? His wife? His daughter? Typewriter. It's weird that the typewriter's there. Are we supposed to do something with it? A bathroom. You get to you get your own private bathroom, Anne. It's pretty nice. Although maybe everybody comes down to use it when they're done doing their stuff. Beyond these doors is a sacred space. Oh, we shall open it. Oh, well, we can't get in? Oh, man. An intensely focused middle-aged man. He holds a book. Hmm. Christ's dead body being removed from the cross at Golgotha. Well, we've got this tape. I'd like to play the tape. I think there was a key in the... There we go. That's a key. Trailer master key. Ooh, we can get into all the trailers. More backtracking. My sweet V, I have a very important task for you. There's a deceiver among us, a lying snake who intends to bring ruin upon the flock. This is a test. Prove our faith by removing this cancer. The deceiver will never reveal himself to me, but he might to you. Use your feminine charms to get close to the men in the flock. I'm worried about Andrew, Leonard, and Peyton. Get them to open up. They have nothing to hide. They'll be forgiven before Christ. Hmm. So now we got to go back to probably those names there. What was it? Andrew, Leonard, and Peyton. So she's going to have... Oh, so he's using viola for all this. And Andy was banging viola. What a dick. This cult leader was a real jerk. To the trailers. Ooh, it's dark now. Creepy. I'm getting the chills. You know, I've never played Among Us. Leonard. It was what? Leonard, Andrew, and... With the, that digital piece in the music is strange. Bang, dang, boom. Bang, dang, boom. Leonard way up at the top. Among Us is pretty funny with friends. The door is rusted shut. Oh, so dark. Henry. Okay. Josiah. Okay. Leonard. Okay. Ooh. Bolt cutters. What is that? Booze? Read a note from Henry. Leo. It's gotta be him. I'm certain. He hasn't talked yet, but I have no doubt scrounge around his trailer and see if he find any leverage. He busted the lock grabbing him last night, so you have to use your bull colors to get in. It's gotta be him, I'm certain. Leo to Henry. About who? Thought shot and all killed, but it's not that simple. We are God's army. We must protect our flock. This is a war with souls on the line. We must be resolute. 
Why won't my hands stop shaking? Why do I keep seeing his face when I close my eyes? Somehow I didn't think fighting for the Lord would mean beating an unarmed man to death with a shovel. I didn't think so either. The deceiver changed Father James, though only a few of us seemed to notice. He had new revelations almost daily. Doctrines changed. Actions that would have been terrible sins previously were suddenly permissible, while seemingly innocent behaviors became mortal sins. The others seemed to have no problem going along with it. I wondered if something was wrong with me. Father grew visibly agitated, and as adamant as he was about the sanctity of his new revelations, Something was different. He was scared. And that scared me. Okay. We need to find a place where we can use bull cutters. So it's not... Cereal. Oh, is this the guy that was taking that cereal? They hid it from him? It's gotta be him. He hasn't talked yet, but I have no doubt. Scrounge around his trailer. Henry. So this is from Henry to Leo. So there's gotta be... Peyton, I guess. Go down to Peyton's. Leonard. All right. Alejandro. Can you get to that door? Eh? No? Yes? No? It's rusted shut tight. Brother Christopher. Peyton. Oh, there we go. Here's the big chain door. Getting very cereal. The shovel. Transmit code, encryption code, compromised knee. Do not record frontal raid, armed mil military grade training. Most are 100% brought in. We'll use violence. Hmm? I changed my lock like you suggested. I left a copy of the new key under the tree near the fire pit. From Lillian. Lillian fire pit tree. Okay. Peyton's notes. Father James, born Idaho. Oh, he's like a secret agent or something? Early 50s, unclear. Vietnam vet, honorably discharged, 1970 due to a shrapnel injury. Born again in late 70s. Criminal record includes larceny, drug possession, vagrancy. Married to Anne, so he that's he put Anne in the in the bathroom room. Signs of amphetamine addiction. Receives visions from an angel named Sauriel starting in 1986. Okay. Left former church, founded the perfect heaven. Oh, that must be where they got the name Outer Haven from in Metal Gear. This isn't Link's Awakening? No. <laughs> Purchased from Black Sage Ranch in 1991. Born? Anne. Born in Oregon. Worked as a secretary for a heating and cooling company for years. Met Donald James through church. Married in 1981. Complete loyalty. Primary recruiter. Andrew. Recruited in Houston. Owns a small farm. Runs a farm for the group. Writes to his brother in El Paso. Viola. Mid-30s from Albuquerque. Two children, Juliet and Lucas. Recently divorced from her husband. Claims frequent abuse. Frequent consort, Father James. Leonard, late 20s, former police officer, National Guard, military training, discharged due to drug addiction. James promised to help him get clean. Seems to have worked for a little while. Access to weapons, trains group members in arms and tactics. Often has alcohol in his breath. Relapse, dangerous. Lillian, early 20s, born in San Diego, recent college grad, some useless degree, depressed, trouble finding job. Often goes to the rectory for an alternative cleansing with other women. Seems to have more doubts than some others. Reach out to her. You can see why, like, people that encounter the shitty parts of life, they end up, uh... Like, to, fi to find something where they go, you can become better than yourself. I will, I will choose you. You are chosen. Oh, it feels so good to be chosen. And, you know, because, like, what were they doing before? Oh, I was a secretary somewhere. Or, like, oh, I had a husband that beat me. Or, um, yeah, an alcoholic. Discharged from the war. Drug addiction. Where'd they say fire pit? Find it. Find a key there. Okay. A fire pit. Alright. Sitting right by the fire. 
but then people's urges overcome them. Use the shovel. Finding a small brass key. Okay, so that was a key for whose room? One of the girls, I guess? Probably Lillian. Lillian, that's who it is. I left the key for you Under a rock by a tree Use a shovel that was used to kill a man To find that key and come to me Oh, come to me With a key From a bloody shovel by a tree and you will find what I have hid inside for alternative cleansing with lesbian orgies. This is with my flashlight on, baby. Lillian, what are you hiding? Lillian. Oh, Lillian. Oh my god, she decorated so nice in here yeah like people out of jail they no one else is going to hire them that's kind of the problem with the jail system forgive me if i'm speaking too freely but i care deeply about you and i worry that you are having doubts about the father and his teachings you're young lily i understand where you're coming from believe me but as someone with a lot more life experience let me tell you, you got nothing to doubt oh we already read this before where have you been in here Hmm, your reading is compromised. Change the rules. Happened upon the books. Reading non-church materials. Hmm. But I don't remember these lights being in here. The cleansing room key. Da, da, da. How can the absolute truth change so rapidly? The doctrine of cleansing, which is immutable and unavoidable. Pain is currency. And the alternative cleansing, which changed the rules against extramarital sex and polygamy for a clean body. Oh, he had another revelation, which he only told the women. Oh, my God. The Lord has brought a deceiver. Is the God's plan for us to use our bodies as tools? He risked his life coming to me. Somehow he could tell that I was wavering. I'm still not sure how. He was from the FBI, he said, and he was here to investigate the group as a cult. Hmm. When he said that word, I told him to go to hell. I almost went right to Father James. It means a lot coming from them. But I didn't. He left me a pamphlet that talked about the signs of a dangerous cult. At first I refused to read it. What was the point? How could that have anything to do with our group? But I did read it, and even though my entire brain was screaming at me, I went back to him. Oh, baby. So then this guy was murdered with a shovel. I know you're beginning to doubt, and you are right to do so. Father James is not what he says he is. Hang around after evening prayer. I'll linger, too. I can help. You're not alone. Are you in a cult? It's scary, but important. Spiritual fulfillment and community involvement are important aspects of healthy life. But it's possible for these to take deeply unhealthy and even dangerous forms. The group dis displays excessively zealous and unquestioning commitment to its leader. Questioning doubt and dissent are discouraged. Mind-altering practices like meditation, chanting, tongues, debilitating work routines. The leadership dictates how you should act and feel, permission to do things. They're elitist, claiming a special exalted status. Us versus them. The leader's not accountable. The group teaches uh, the exalted ends justify the means. Lying to family friends, collecting money for a bogus charity. Inducing shame or guilt. Come on, get to the good stuff. The group is preoccupied with bringing new members, preoccupied with making money. Devote inordinate times to the group. Hmm, no life outside the group. You got it. Nothing about sex. 
Okay, what did I just get? I just got the... Oh my god, right. For the, we're going into the cleansing thing. The cleansing room. But we haven't gotten the key into his ultimate room up at the top yet. That's interesting. So is that going to be even worse? Oh god. Cleansing room. I think in a, in a few or maybe many places in the states, in the USA, it's, it's illegal to vote if you've uh, been to jail. And a lot of people go to the jail in the States for silly things like having pot or something. They ain't voting. Here we go. This should be lovely. Get ready. Oh, it's like the blood came from below. Sin is that debt and pain is the currency. Oh, God. What, what are you doing with the axe? I thought they were just, like, slashing them a little bit. You cannot be opened? Improper thoughts. Lust. Three cuts with the blade. Doubt. Five cuts with the blade. Stealing one finger or a hand. Sloth. Two lashes from the whip. Taking the lord of the name. Five cuts. Large blade. Murder. Rape. Idol idolatry. The violating body part. Hand. Genitals. Eyes. Oh my god. They cut off your wiener? They'll cut off your wiener. Don't let them... No raping. I thought it was going to be a lot messy. I thought, like, all that blood spilling out. That was going to be crazy. The key to the mines. Is this record playing this ominous music? He called it the cleansing room where we would exchange pain in this realm for forgiveness in the next. We'd all gather in front of the altar and one by one we would declare our sins to the flock, each of us given penance to perform in front of the others. Bloodletting, self-flagellation. I saw men break their own bones and women cut off a finger that had caused them to sin. It was true devotion and it was terrifying and wonderful to see. Hmm. We're going into the mines. Hmm. Cleansing room. There they are. I think that'd be really difficult to break your own bone, you know? There's probably something in your brain that stops you from uh, doing that. I've got a shovel. Examine the wooden boards. Hmm. Oh, I got this axe. There you go. Oh, yeah, if he was the only other character model and he's still there. I'm still have been waiting for you. I haven't had sex in a long time. Oh, this is nice. Huh? Ooh, 
they really make that uh, that wind sound like it's coming from a mine. Oh, the way that the darkness reveals itself so oh, such a short distance away. Oh my god. I'm getting the chills, baby. I am getting the bloody chills. Move the minecart. The wheels on the cart creak and strain. Hit it with a shovel. Okay. What's that? What's in there? A tape. Fine. I guess you gotta find like a hammer or something. This is where they had lunch. Scary. Oh. What did they do? Gun? Oh yeah, that guy was teaching them, uh... Yeah. Weapons. Weapons skills. Ninja skills. Nunchuck skills. It was just a nice can of oil is all you needed. Follow the railroad tracks. Oh! A decomposing body curled in the fetal position. You reach out to touch it and a note falls. What's the note say? L, I got your delivery. I made a copy of the key to James' room last night, but I think Andrew noticed he was acting suspicious. So I'm going to add the copy somewhere we both have access to it. In case something happens, look in the southwest corner of the cornfields. I think it might have been my fault they found Peyton. We were seen together too often, maybe. But how would they know? Maybe they saw the pamphlet? I don't know. I don't know, but I can't shake the feeling that it's my fault. It doesn't matter. They found him. They told us he had decided to leave the flock. I didn't believe them, but I didn't ask any questions. After that, we moved on. It was like he had never been there at all. It scared me, but... Instead of trying to get away, I just let myself fall deeper in. I did my best to shut out any doubts. It was easier that way. She kind of sounds like Pam from the office. I would like to leave now, please. Please. Please, 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 please. Please. Yeah, well, um, yeah, the whole Michigan thing, that was, uh, they were out there kind of like when, like, the whole Black Lives Matter protests were going on. There are all these, like, white people surrounding the Michigan governor's office with guns. Is there more to do down here? Is that why this won't open? Do we need to turn the power on? And then it was, yeah, recently found out that they had plans to kidnap the, um, and murder the governor. But it was just like you had you have these like black people being shot for just kind of existing or you know having any kind of a run in with the law and then you got these white folk hanging around with serious weaponry outside the governor's house and they they're just kind of allowed to do what they do, you know? You don't see how that's useful? No? You don't see how the generator key is useful? Well, that's nice. Because I'd like to get out of this bloody mine cave. Turn on the generator. Hmm. I wonder if that's a bug in the game. Maybe I need to find more things? Well, because, oh, because they had been, um, like, I think she was being pretty strict with Michigan, trying to, trying to lock down the city and the state with, you know, in regards to COVID, like stopping businesses and that kind of stuff. There are all kinds of people protesting out around there saying things like, I need to get my hair done, my roots are, like literally people going, I need to get my hair done. This is ridiculous. 
My husband don't want to be on employment insurance. He wants to be working, and I need my hair done. And that's what they were protesting. So we're going to kill the governor so we can get our hair done. And she could stop controlling us like some communist Chinese. That ain't I messing now my country, man. Ain't no communist Chinese pinko cook. We're gonna kill the governor, see how she likes it. And then we'll get her bad hair. <laughs> then she'll see. Yeah, just, like, silly stuff like that. I mean, it, it it's a serious thing to... Uh, uh, you know, to, to lock down an economy, and you can see why people are... I mean, they're going like, oh, the virus... The, the fatality rate is low, but I think you just need to look at what happened to Italy. The problem was that when you let it go unchecked, Hmm, weapons. Cool. How do I get the hell out of here? You know, they like people were dying, but it wasn't um It was more that the hospitals are being overrun, right? Pamphlets. Mm -hmm. Protect the flock. Shoot people. Got it. Can I get out of the mines, please? I don't want to be down here. It's dark. It's scary. I'm sad off in the distance. They should make the shadows look like people. That'd be nice. Hmm. Okay. Alright, maybe we need to go back to where we had, uh... Generator? You gonna work for me now? No, you don't see how that's useful. Maybe follow the generator... thing? Looks like it just goes right to the elevator. You've had some city- yeah, yeah, we've, um, we're, we're in what's called a red zone. So... Uh, you can't eat inside, and you shouldn't be traveling in between regions and that kind of stuff. Alright. So, yeah, I play music online. I haven't played a show at a bar or a pub since. I've played a few outside shows. But it's going to be a long winter. And you end up having different viewpoints with some of your friends, which kind of, kind of sucks. You know? It's like... I don't know, you, you kind of get the feeling like some people are judging you on uh, how you're reacting to it. I see some other people that seem to act like... Oh, gas can, there you go, Jesus! I think there's a lot of people who are thinking, it's not that big of a deal. Just kind of do what you're doing. You wear them outside? I think in Britain they had something crazy like making sex illegal between people that weren't sort of, I don't know, in a certain grouping. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means like if you can say, oh, this is my partner of seriousness. But that's, I think that's going a bit too far. Where you shouldn't, I mean, people, you want people to get with the program. And you shouldn't have to, uh, you shouldn't have to make that a, a criminal thing. But the problem is a lot of people just don't care, you know. They just do whatever they want. They go hang out with their friends, they do their thing, and then they complain about why the world is still uh, struggling with this. It's like, well, you're not doing your part to help you say you will but then when it comes down to you not wanting to be without your friends for a while your family you just do it anyway right 
That was a bit confusing that the generator, which you've already started three or four generators with a key, and now you gotta find some gas. The police? Well, the police have to watch everybody have sex and then show their proper uh, identification. Okay, what's the last thing that I got? Um, go to the field and find the key to his room. <laughs> what are we gonna find in that room?